Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Thibaut. Uh, today I will be teaching you how you can enable features on your BMW E36. For example, the nice visual and acoustic acknowledgement when you lock or unlock your doors with your remote keys. So yes, let's start. Let's start by plugging the laptop to the car. So the cable that you see here, I bought this a few years ago from a company called B Cables. So the blue cable is an ODB2 20 pins connector, but to connect to the E36, we need the round 16 pins ODB2 adapter. So uh, let's just uncap the ODB port here. We'll leave that uh, on the side for the moment. And then we simply take uh, our uh, 16 pins round uh, adapter and we just plug it there. Here we go. Just make sure that it's nicely pressed in. And then we can start the coding on the laptop. So uh, before we start, let me explain you the three steps that we need to perform to enable some features on any BMW. So step number one will be to extract the configuration file uh, from any of the car modules, uh, which is called a trace file. And uh, in order to do that, we use a, a program called NCS Expert. In step number two, we are going to change that trace file with a program called NCS Dummy. This is when we are going to enable the features. And in step number three, we are going to load back that modified trace file into the uh, modules by using NCS Expert again. Let's start with step number one, extracting the configuration file. We open NCS Expert. We load uh, a profile, so let's click on File, Load Profile, then select Reftor NCS Expert Profile. Let's click on OK. Let's click on F1, then on F3, and simply select your model, which is E36 for us. Then select EWS. So this step is just going to identify your car based on the value in the EWS. So here, as you can see, my car has been identified. So that's perfect. We click on back. Now we need to select the module that we want to read. In our case, it will be GM4 today. Let's select and click on OK. Then again on OK. So just be careful here because by default, the job name is to code. We don't want to do that now. We just want to read the data stored in the GM4. So let's change the value here to that one. We click on OK. And now, as you can see, the job name has been changed. So that's perfect. And then we simply click on execute. So this step is just going to uh, extract the trace file from the GM4 module. Step number two, let's uh, modify this trace file or configuration file. I'm just going to navigate to the location where the, um, the trace file is exported by default. So just open this folder here and just export. Then you are going to open work folder and here you will find the trace file. So fsw underscore psw dot trace. So let's go to NCS dummy, which is the tool to modify easily this kind of trace file. Let's open NCS dummy. So chassis is perfect, E36 for me. Let's change the module to the gm4.c03. And then we need to select the trace file that we have just exported with NCS Expert. Here we go. And here you see the location. Let's select that one. So now the interesting part, as you can see, we have a lot of features on the screen that we can uh, customize. Uh, so I'm just going to show you how you can enable the visual and um, acoustic 
uh, acknowledgement on the lock and unlocking of your doors with your remote keys. So for that, uh, just make sure that the DWA, which is the alarm system, is active. So just uh, enable that one. Then we scroll down. Yeah, these two are, are quite interesting as well. If you have the alarm system on your car, make sure that these two are uh, also enabled. Uh, it's nice. Then we scroll down. Yes, so these settings, uh, we are going to choose 40. Uh, this is the, the beeping duration uh, of the alarm. So I'm just going to select 40 uh, milliseconds from my side. The rest you can leave as neat active. Uh, then again, these two. So make sure that the unlocking acknowledgement is on active. And also that the uh, visual locking acknowledgement is active. So this is the flashing of the turn signals. Then I think that's it for that feature. So just scroll down and check all the other available options. It might be interesting for you to enable some of them like uh, the comfort uh, windows up and down and all this stuff. So that's it for the modifications. Just click on here, export to a man file. As you can see, the export is done. So what we have done now is to uh, create a new file from the trace file, which is called a man file. Um, and we are going to use that file um, with NCS export now to, to load it back. So I'm just going to show you that if we go back to the NCS export uh, and the work folder, you will find a new man file, which is just now updated. Look at the time. 3 50, uh, 15 p.m. and which is matching with my laptop so perfect step number three let's uh, upload back this new man file into our uh, gm4 module let's use ncs expert for that again we click on file load profile it's pretty much the same like in step one we select the same profile we click on ok then again, same uh, process, you click on F1, then again on F3. You can select your chassis, E36. Let's use the same module, EWS, to identify the car. Perfect, my car is identified, so I can click on back. Now we can uh, change the module. Let's select GM4. We click on OK. Again on OK. So here is the difference now with step one. We are going to code and not read. So let's change the job to the fourth one in the list. And now we are ready to code the GM4. So you simply need to click on F3 execute job and that's it. Uh, the main file will be uploaded to the GM4 and the uh, features will be enabled. So that's it guys, you are now expert uh, in coding. Uh, if you are new to the channel, please don't hesitate to subscribe and if you find this video interesting, please leave a thumbs up to support me and I see you in the next one.